Hello YouTube and thank you for joining me today on my channel. So the question in discussion today is about laser technology and especially what it can do for you as a knife maker. Now I've always been using laser technology to cut out templates and to engrave my logo onto my knives but this was always done through businesses dedicated to laser engraving. I've never really thought about buying my own machine simply because I figured it was just too expensive. This all changed when a company called Cinesmall contacted me and offered to send me a Auteur Laser Master 2 Pro Laser Machine with the LU2 10 watt laser diode to test out for them. Well, of course, I jumped at the opportunity. However, not really knowing laser machines, I had no idea what to expect. Cinesmall was established in August of 2021 by a young and dynamic team with the main goal of changing the landscape of the retail sector in the electronics hobby tools market. Go check out their website and the products they have to offer as they have a wide range of laser machines and add-on accessories like Y-axis rollers, smoke removers and different laser diodes available to cater for any kind of project you have in mind. Should you want to get your hands on your own Auteur Laser Master 2? Check out the affiliate link in the description. The staff at Cinesmall are super helpful and were fast to respond to my emails. Once confirmation was received that the machine was shipped, it arrived at my doorstep within 7 days. I had to assemble the machine myself, but this was not a problem as there are tons of online videos on how to assemble it. You basically need to assemble the X and Y axis frame on which the laser diode runs and plug in the wires into the correct sockets. This took me about an hour to do. The machine itself is of decent quality with the access rails and mountings made from either aluminium or steel. Once assembled, it feels solid and sturdy. Let's look at the machine specs. The Master 2 Pro is the world's first diode laser engraving machine with an engraving speed of 10,000 mm per minute. It can, however, reach up to 15,000 mm per minute if used with the LU2 10 watt laser diode. Due to the advanced 12 bit precision PWM control signal, the laser can engrave over a range of 1000 grayscale tones, giving you real photographic realistic like engraving details. Individual lines can be engraved down to 0.06 millimeters. If the machine is accidentally bumped while engraving, it will stop the engraving process. When for some reason the signal between the laser and your computer gets interrupted or the motor stops working, the engraving process stops. It features a large red emergency stop button to cancel any lasering process immediately in the case of an emergency. A smoke and fire sensor is also present to hold any lasering process in the case of fire. Yes, the laser burns at 1500 degrees Celsius and the risk of something set on fire is very real. So let's see what this laser engraver is capable of doing. I'm using the Lightburn software to set up my artwork for the various materials that we will test. Basically, you need to tell the software which lines are engraving lines and which lines are cut lines. Then adjust the speed of the lasering process versus the cutting power of the laser with the amount of passes the laser needs to perform to cut through the material. Each property has its own pros and cons, but that is something you need to sit down with and dial down. Less power gives you less burning of the material, where higher speeds is obviously faster with the engraving. So you can cut out the shape quickly and risk burnt edges, or wait longer and dial the power down, but add more passes. Each material needs its own unique setting. First up we have EVA foam, which worked beautifully. I'll add in the settings that I used for each material, for your reference. Second on our list is lever and no problem there.
three millimeter MDF wood. This machine was made to cut and engrave this stuff. Trolay's metal coated acrylic, perfect. Ten millimeter soft wood. This was a little tricky and took me a few tries to get it right. I'm cutting syringa wood here, which is a soft wood, so I managed to cut it, but I ran four passes on seventy percent power. Harder woods will probably be more difficult to cut through. We know this won't cut through metal, but the engraving on it is fantastic. No hassles there. Next we need to apply this technology to an actual knife making scenario. I drew up my template and imported it into Lightburn. Now there are two ways to go about getting the template onto your steel. The first is to cut a template from MDF, which also gives you a physical reference, and trace it onto your steel blank. Or secondly, you can laser the template directly onto your steel blank.
I then proceed to make the knife as I normally would. I won't be focusing too much on the knife build in this video, but I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out the full video. Once my blade is finished, I laser the logo onto my blade. Pretty simple to do. For the handle scales, I would like to try some natural micarta, but I'll be lasering a pattern onto the material first. The same procedure applies. Pull the artwork into light burn, get the settings and the laser position right, and let the laser machine do its work.
And that concludes the knife build. The Auter Laser Master 2 Pro laser machine really is a versatile piece of equipment. With so many users around the workshop, once you realize what you are capable of achieving with it, the ideas really just keep on rolling in. You can custom cut leather for sheaves, the same with Kydex. I've shown you the patterns you can engrave on handle scales, and bone and wood will perform the same. You can engrave your own logos on your blades, eliminating the need for electro etching. The list goes on. And of course, you are not just limited to knives, but practically anything around the house. Thank you for spending the time to watch this video. I trust you found it informative. Please like, share and subscribe. And until next time, stay well and goodbye.